why it sucks to be the sun. The sun, glorious, powerful, the life giver of earth, worshipped by ancient civilizations, depicted in kids' drawings with sunglasses and a smile. But behind all the golden rays and feel-good vitamin D, being the sun absolutely sucks. And today, we're here to explain why being the center of the solar system might be the worst gig in the universe. Constant work, no vacation, no privacy, and your own family of planets just using you like a giant microwave. So grab your shades, because things are about to get uncomfortably hot. You never get a day off. Imagine working non-stop for 4.6 billion years. No weekends, no holidays, not even a five-minute break. That's the sun's life. A full-time nuclear reactor just churning out 400 trillion trillion watts of energy every second. And what does it get in return? Nothing. Not a thank you card. Not even a good performance review. It's literally powering every living thing on Earth. Plants, animals, Wi-Fi routers. And yet we blame it for heat waves and sunburns. Being the sun means being the most underappreciated overachiever in existence. You're exploding. Constantly. The sun isn't just glowing. It's exploding. Every second deep in its core, hydrogen atoms are smashed into helium, releasing mind-bending energy through nuclear fusion. Sounds cool, right? Except that's 24-7 internal combustion, on a scale large enough to vaporize entire planets. And while it's burning itself out to keep everyone warm, it's slowly killing itself. Yes, the sun is literally dying from working too hard. It's like the ultimate burnout metaphor. Everyone blames you for everything. Too hot today? Blame the sun. Sunburn? Sun's fault. Global warming? Let's throw that one in there too. Even though humans are polluting the atmosphere and roasting themselves alive, the sun still gets the blame for being too close. It's 93 million miles away, guys. That's not close. That's long distance. The moon gets poems. The stars get wished upon. The sun? Sun gets lawsuits from people who fell asleep at the beach. You're covered in boiling plasma. The surface of the sun is 5,500 degrees Celsius, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But its outer atmosphere, the corona, is even hotter, reaching over 1 million degrees Celsius. Why? Scientists don't fully know. And honestly, the sun's not telling. To make it worse, the sun is constantly spewing plasma into space via solar flares and coronal mass ejections, basically space burps of death. Sometimes they hit Earth and mess up GPS, satellites, and your grandma's TV signal. The sun is leaking fire into the universe, constantly. And no one says thank you. They just yell about the Wi-Fi. Every planet just takes from you. If you're the sun, you're the star of the show. Literally. A star. And yet every planet in the solar system just orbits you and takes, takes, takes. Earth, siphoning off energy to grow kale and power Teslas. Jupiter, leeching warmth and protection like the big gas freeloader it is. Mercury, so close it's basically cuddling you without consent. You are the provider, the light giver, the celestial parent. And every single one of your kids is an ungrateful rock. You can't even see what's going on. The sun is so bright it's blind. Think about it. From Earth, we can look at stars, galaxies, and the entire observable universe. From the sun, you can't see squat, just a massive glow all around you. You're trapped in your own spotlight, blind to everything else happening beyond your blaze. You're the literal center of attention, in a, and yet you can't see the audience. How tragic is that? You're running out of time. The sun has already used up about half its life. In five billion years, it'll swell into a red giant, devour Mercury and Venus, and probably fry Earth into a crispy Dorito. Then it'll shed its outer layers and collapse into a boring little white dwarf. No more light. No more power. No more glory. The universe will forget, and the planets will move on. You spend your life giving everything, and then die alone, cold and tiny, brutal. Nobody even calls you a star. Hollywood has stars, Instagram has stars, astronomy has a bunch of stars that aren't you. The sun is the closest star we've got. And yet it doesn't get its name on any red carpets. It doesn't sparkle in the night sky. It doesn't get cool constellation rolls or astrology TikToks. You're the biggest star in the sky. 
and nobody even calls you one. Instead, you're the thing people blame when their car AC fails. So in summary, you're on fire. You're exploding. You're getting blamed for heat. Everyone's using your energy without saying thanks. And your reward? A slow, fiery death? And maybe a bad metaphor in a breakup song? The sun might be the brightest thing in the sky, but being it sucks. Mm. Let us know in the comments. Which planet treats the sun the worst? Hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Assuming a solar flare doesn't wipe out the grid.